Table Calculations, Exploring Quick Table Calculations. Tableau's mission is to help people see and understand data. And as such, Tableau has given us Quick Table Calculations. We will use and leverage Quick Table Calculations to start our exploration of table calcs. So, with that said, let's dive into Tableau. So with Tableau open, the first thing I want us to do is open our Superstore dataset. So let's go to Microsoft Excel. You can, if you have Tableau desktop installed, use one of the following. However, depending on your version of Tableau, it might not match. Therefore, I would recommend using the Excel that you've downloaded from this course. Let's click on Excel, sample Superstore. Give it a second to load up into Tableau. And I want us to take the orders and just drop this straight in. Once the data is loaded, let's go to our sheet. And from here, we are going to start exploring quick table calculations. Firstly, by building some visualizations, let's get straight into it. I want us to take order date and I want to drop this into columns. Fairly straightforward. I want us to take sales and drop that into rows. Again, nice and simple as a start. I want us to right click on year and I want us to select for now continuous month. So this will give us a nice trend. This looks pretty good at the moment. However, I want to break this down per year. So let's bring in order date again, drop it into columns. So now we can see the trend for each individual year. That is pretty good. Now, lastly, because I am a big fan of bar charts, I will not lie. Let's change this to bar charts. Now, what we've done here is we've rendered our data visualization. We have rows, which we've put some of cells. We've split this by headers based on year, and within each header we have an axis based on order. So this gives us a nice visualization. This is pretty good. However, simple question is that now that we've aggregated at 10,000 records to produce this visualization, what happens if we want to do a further calculation, i.e. a very common one is a running sum? Which year? at the highest running sum or the highest total. For this, we are going to leverage a table calculation using quick table calculation functionality. So what I am going to do, follow along, is take cells and drop that onto rows. So what we've done here is we've duplicated. So we still want to keep our monthly values. That's still pretty valuable. I like that data. It still works for me. However, I want us to have a cumulative total now. So let's right click on the copy or the second pill that we've added in. Let's go to quick table calculations. And you can see Tableau provides the following calculations out of the box. Common calculations that we can use. So let's select running total. As you can see now, Tableau has created us a running total for our table. Now the key is from this point onwards, we can play and create additional quick table calculations, but there's one feature I want us to explore. I want us to right click. You have a few options here. You can clear the quick table calculation, which is very nice and simple, self-explanatory. You could remove it with a single click. You can add a different one, for example, difference. But if we stay on the theme of running total, what happens if we want to reset after each year? So we don't want to cumulative total for our entire table, but just for what we call a pain. So just for this, how can we do that? Well, if we right click 
on the quick table calculation you also have compute using and this allows us to tell Tableau when we are reading a table and performing a table calculation how do we read this do we read it across the entire table do we read it across a pane let's have a look and see what that looks like so this is our individual panes and now we can actually compare year on year the cumulative total all the way through we also have other options so if you want to go across or down and this is what we're going to explore a bit now but for now what I want you to do is pause the video I want you to explore the different types of quick table calculations and then what I want us to do is we're going to come back and we're going to explore the compute using so right now pause the video and unpause once you're ready so hopefully you've had some fun with quick table calculations but what I want to do now is explore the compute using in a bit more detail just a little bit so what I want us to do is create a new worksheet firstly let's rename this worksheet and call this my first table calculation let's create a new sheet what I want us to do now is to explore the compute using so we could really get across and understand this for the meantime I want us to create a calculated field do not worry too much about this for now I'm just going to use a field called index again we are going to cover this when we come to writing our own but right now I just want to prove a very simple and interesting concept to you so index is a table calculation it's a handwritten one but that is fine I want us to take all the dates and drop that into columns let's take country and region and drop it in see if that gives us a lot of data that doesn't really give us much let's take state and drop that in so now you can see that we have all of our states and the district of Columbia and we have our year what I want us to do is put the index into text the reason why I want us to do this is just so we can explore table calculations so if you look at the index as a function it just gives you the actual position so one two three four what we can do is right click let's calculate this going down so you can see we have a table calculation something that's written again we'll cover writing our own throughout the rest of this section the key thing here is that we have a very simple calculation which tells us the position relative to the table and by using well by modifying the compute using we can change the way that this is calculated so this we're calculating this across and then down or how about down and then across now this might seem a bit alien but how about we put double click cells so we're bringing cells into this now what happens if we now right click on this quick table calculation and we do running total think about what we're showing now let's remove index let's add the normal cells as well and let's put the sum of cells the table calculation underneath so if you go look at Alabama you can see you have cells so that's your cells column and then you have your quick table calculation underneath if you can see what we're doing we are literally summing as we go across the table which is the setting that we have here that's the power of compute using we can also sum everything going downwards 
or we can compute using a crossing and down. The key behind this is that quick table calculations allow you to do calculations on top of a table. So once you've rendered your aggregation, once you've rendered your data, put an extra level of calculations on top. And the beautiful thing here is that with table calculations, we can control or tell Tableau how we are going to process and render the data. So what I want you to do now is just explore with the different concepts of compute using. And then what I want us to do is move in to the next lesson. But the main thing, the key takeaway here, is that you have calculations which are based on your columns, your rows, that would render something onto your visualization. Then we can build table calculations to go on top of that. And there's a lot of power in this. So I hope you've enjoyed the lesson. I hope this is becoming clearer. We are going to reinforce this hugely in the remainder of this section. So do not worry about that at all. In the meantime, explore quick table calculations, explore the compute using, and I'll see you in the next lesson.